So far, we have covered the basics of Vocodex. We have shown you how to route audio to it, as well as routing software synthesizers to be carrier sources to expand Vocodex possibilities. We have also looked at how to further tweak your sound with the envelope filters and the EQ section. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how to even further carve your sound with the Curve Editor. This editor is located on the bottom half of the interface and may look daunting and complex. However, once you've used it a few times, it'll all make sense. There is a lot to cover, so I'm going to stick to the basics, but with this should be enough for you to carry on exploring the Curve Editor at your own pace. First, let's take a quick look at how the curves work. The curves by default are displayed on as a straight line across the editor, either horizontally or at an angle, with a pinpoint at each end and a tension point in the middle. This default position produces a null effect, that is, nothing is altered by the curves. Working with the curves is pretty straightforward. Use the pinpoints to create the start and end points to the curve and adjust the tension point to adjust the shape of the curve. Right clicking on the end point will bring up a menu. This will allow you to choose a curve type. The default is a single curve, where adjusting the tension will create either an inclining or declining curve, depending on which way you drag it. Other options include a double curve, which will create a curve that will increase on one side of the tension point and decrease on the other. You can create even some more drastic curve types, such as stairs. You can reset the tension point by simply right-clicking on the tension point itself. While right-clicking anywhere on the curve line will create a new pinpoint to give you more precise curve editing. If you wish to remove a pinpoint that you have added, simply right-click on it and select Delete. Okay, so now that we know how to work with the curves, let's take a look at putting them to work. By default, the Curve Editor is editing the Band Gain Multiplier, which controls how much of which frequencies are getting through to the vocoder. As a quick demonstration, you can hear that as I increase or decrease the start and pinpoint, more or less of the lower frequencies are getting through. In reverse, if I was to adjust the endpoint where the higher frequencies are located, more higher frequencies will be getting through. Add more pinpoints to the curve allow me to gain further controls over the affected frequencies. Using the drop down menu, you can select what it is that you are actually editing with the curve editor. Let's change from the band game multiplier to the band panning. This editor allows you to map different portions of the frequency spectrum within the stereo field. For example, if I was to increase the starting point all the way to the top, and the end point to the bottom, the results would be the low frequencies on the right, while the high frequencies will be on the left, with the mid-range being left in the middle. The band gain offset controls how much of the carrier is being fed into the vocoder. When it's set to the middle, you will hear the modulator and the carrier mixed together. Decreasing the level of any or all frequencies will attenuate the frequencies from being fed into the vocoder by the carrier. Increasing the level will allow you to hear the carrier in addition to the modulator carrier mix. The higher you increase the levels, the more of the carrier you will hear. The modulator noise level acts like a noise gate that allows you to control which frequencies can be heard. By default, the flat line that lays across the bottom of the editor will show you that all frequencies are getting through. By increasing the curve, you are basically attenuating the frequencies within the curve range. If you were unique and original copyright cleared music for multimedia. The modulator pass-through curve allows you to edit how much of the carrier can be heard in the mix for the frequencies affected by the curve. By default, this curve is too a flat line across the bottom of the editor. Increase any area of the curve will result in the carrier being heard in addition to the modulator and carrier merge. Unique and original copyright cleared music for multimedia. If you are after unique and original copyright cleared music for multimedia. So in this video, we begun our look at the Curve Editor in Volcodex, as well as editing the equalizer with the Curve Editor. In the next video, we'll continue our look at the Curve Editor and look at the Envelope Follower and the Spectral Distribution Editors. And original copyright cleared music for multimedia.
If you are after unique and original copyright cleared music for multimedia, if you are after unique and original copyright cleared music for multimedia, if you are after unique and original copyright cleared music for multimedia.